The hist function allows you to sort data into bins and to display histograms. The hist function takes in two arguments. The first argument are the values that you want to sort into bins. In this case, we want to sort seven values into bins. The second argument is the number of bins that you want to create. These set of commands will create a histogram uh, of the data that's stored in Y into five equally spaced bins. The leftmost edge of the bins will be the smallest value in this data set, or five. The rightmost edge will be the largest value in our data set, or 65. The width of the bins will be the total range covered by these bins, so 5 to 65, divided by the total number of bins, which is 5. So each bin will be 12 units long. The hist function also can be used to store the number of items per bin in an array. So if you take this hist function and you set it equal to some array, the number of values per bin will be stored in A. You can also set the location of the center of the bins by replacing the second argument, which before was the number of bins, or n, with an array x. x will contain uh, certain values, and each of these values will then be the center for each bin. The total number of bins that will be created will be the number of elements in x. In this example, I want to sort eight values into five bins. I will also store the number of items per bin into an array called A. We see in this histogram that the leftmost edge of the bins is zero, which is the lowest value in Y. The rightmost edge is 50, which is the greatest value. Using the formula from the previous slide, we can guess what the width of the bins is. It's 50 minus 0 divided by the total number of bins, which is 5, so 10. And that's indeed what we see. So all the numbers between 0 and 10, 0, 3, 9. There's three values in uh, the range 0 to 10, and so uh, 3 will be displayed on the histogram for that range. There are no values between 10 and 20, so a 0 goes here. Between 20 and 30, we have one value, 21. Between 30 and 40, we have 32 and 33, so two values between 40 and 50, we have 50 and 45, so 2. Notice that we have stored 3, 0, 1, 2, 2 in the array A. So the first bin has three, three values in it, or three values are between 0 and 10, and so that's what's stored in A, in the first element of A. In the last element of A, we have a 2, and that's because there are two values between 40 and 50. Notice that each bin is centered at the value between the left and, mo and right most edge of the bin. So if we have 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45 are the centers of the bin, uh, and there's 10 units of space between the center of each bin. There's 10 spaces between 35 and 45. There's 10 units between 5 
and 15. So if we wanted to, we could have also created the exact same histogram using the following set of commands. We'll say x has the values of 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. Those will be the centers of the bin, as we'll include it here as a second argument in hist. So let's rerun the code. And we see that indeed we get the same histogram uh, as before. And we get the same values stored in B.